AVC, Sean from Buzzbomb Records, coming at you again from the bunker. Going to do another special episode today. Uh, Going to show some Kiss reissued colored vinyl. Uh, this is kind of a kind of a response video, I guess. There's um, a couple folks on one of the forums I belong to had asked, what are all the different um, reissue colored vinyl variants that they've uh, kind of put out here over the last couple years? And so I thought, uh, let's show them. And I guess the other thing that made me want to do this is there was a super cool one that we just got. Uh, and I just got mine uh, this week. And so I want to show that off because it's out of all of them, it's by far the coolest one yet. And so I'll also preface this by saying uh, there's some people that uh, view these as I've heard people call them cash grabs by the label and crappy quality and so on and so forth you know i'm of the camp that uh i like collecting things and i like collecting different types of things and so for me these are cool i mean they're just something else to go find as you've heard me say before so any and as you all know and i've said and lots of people have said nobody forces you to buy this stuff so people can bitch and moan all they want um, I'm one of the people that think these are cool and they're fun to go get. And so, uh, I love them. I can't wait for the next one to come out. And so there, um, with that being said, let's jump right in. I'm going to go through these in order of when the original album in the catalog came out, uh, because that's how they're organized back there. And it's easier for me to, to try to uh, keep track of all of them, uh, rather than when they were re-released. So, see, I'm already rambling. I'm two minutes in. Ramble, 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 ramble. First one, Kiss First Record. 45th Anniversary Hype, you see down there. Uh, you're going to see that on a lot of these, not all of them. But uh, same jackets, you know, as they did on the 2014 reissues. This one is one of the few where there was a different European variant. This is the European one. Yeah, I'll try to say when they came out. 2019. And this, I think they, I think they, I think they uh, marketed this as smoke. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's smoke. It's actually clear, see? You see my face through there? It's like a clear, smoky-ish smoke. It's still cool. Um, and again, this was the European variant. Well, again, one of the few that had a different one over there. Then we got here. Same blue label as the original reissues. That one was the European one. U.S., North America, same jacket, same hype. I think they had different barcode stickers on the back, if I recall. Which are just, yeah, it's like a sticker over there. Same jacket, same hype. However, the... North American one, U.S., let's call it whatever, is this, which, again, this is the, one of the things I will say um, that, that people have had a problem with, and I, and I kind of get it, too, is, again, they marketed these. If you look at the pictures, like, uh, I think this was in Universal, you know, on the Universal website, didn't look like this. Uh, this was was black swirl i think is what they called it and the picture did not look anything like this and i've seen people show some that there's like no black on it hardly at all a couple of specks mine's got a little bit in there but that's not a swirl at all so cool um but yeah and so i can kind of get that where where you're they're showing a picture of what they're supposed to look like and they don't come out that way i can i can kind of get that but i'm still going to get it anyway i think they're cool all right Try not to ramble too much on these. Hotter than hell. 45th anniversary hype. Same jackets. 2019. Hotter than hell was. Or I should say still is. This one you can get out there. Orange. Kind of like a clear, transparent orange, whatever you want to call that. Uh, this one you can still get. It's still out there on Universal, I think, still posted. But, Hotter Hell, Orange. There's kind of a joke on Orange Vinyl coming here too in a minute. Which, again, 
I understand why people are saying stuff about it. Dress to Kill would have been next. Releasing the catalog. Again, 45th anniversary hype. Uh, one thing I'm going to say on this one is for whatever reason, they didn't print very many of these. Um, I don't know if something maybe, have hap maybe happened at the plant or whatnot because it doesn't really jive with everything else. I shouldn't say everything, but a lot, but most of these. Most of these they printed, you know, at least a couple thousand, I would guess. This one I've heard they only did maybe 500. Things what some of the guys have estimated. Um, so, but I, I got it right off the KISS. This was one of the ones that was on the website, KISS online website. Just happened to be there on the right day at the right time. Grabbed a couple copies, didn't think anything of it. Just thought it'd be like the others, you know. Um, and this one was 2020. Just, again, thought it'd be like all the others and it'd be out there forever and nobody would really care, but it didn't. It's red. Uh, it is red. You know, it looks kind of orange on my screen, but it's it's bright red. Um, again, same blue label. Did, for yeah, not very many of these, man. And so uh, they go for stupid money. If you see them for sale, you don't really see very many of those up for sale. Um, next in the lineup would have been Alive. Again, forty fifth anniversary hype. Again, same jackets as the 2014s, yada yada. That guy, was this, this was 2020 as well. Yeah, it was last year. I don't remember what the hell they called this. But uh, it's kind of white, kind of got some specks in it, I don't know. Maybe they called it a marbling. It is kind of marble. I mean, again, you can't really see the detail very well on the screen but it's still cool looking again this one I think was only on the KISS website I don't think this one ever made it to Universal or sound on vinyl but it's cool looking blue labels skin whatever the hell actually I can tell you what they called it because I put it on here red white yellow splattered whatever Still cool. Let's see another one. After a lie, we got Kiss Destroyer. So this one technically was not part of the reissue series. Um, this was actually the... I'm going to say this was the first colored reissue they did. Because um, I know this was like 2018. This was, like again, I like, think one of the first ones they had done. And I can't... I think Sound of Violent, I think... Is where we got this one, but it was kind of like the first that I remember seeing of any color kind of variant. Same 2014 jacket. Mm, this one is marble. It's like a black and get the head labels right. Black and red marble. So cool looking. Um, not a whole lot. Of, you don't see these come up very often either for some reason. But 2018. Kiss Destroyer. And then, side note, so we did get this a couple weeks ago. So, when it actually was the 45th anniversary of Destroyer, since they had already released the, the other one in 2018, we got this. Uh, which was part of a, there was a bunch, there's actually a bunch of stuff up there, there's like, uh, as usual, I get the bundle with all the things I don't need. But um, but this was the vinyl. They released this first. And then the bundle came after. But um, cool. This would have been, yeah, 45th anniversary of that. Let's put that guy there. Um, the one I will say, too, that uh, um, this is the first of a couple of these of the, ooh, the, the, the dreaded Walmart vinyl that you're not allowed to buy because you're not cool if you buy it from Walmart. Whatever, man. Um, this was the one of the first, or I think this was first, of the KISS Walmart exclusives. <laughs> uh, Destroyer Resurrected on Orange. So, again, I'm not going to sit and argue with people about where they buy their records. If you want to buy stuff from Walmart, buy it from Walmart. I don't care. 
where I will say this one's kind of this one's a little flimsy. Don't think that's 180 gram, but there again, joke. It's what color is that? It's orange. So they had extra orange vinyl, so they sold it to Walmart. And they printed up a bunch of re resurrecteds with it. Still, I'm going to get it because I collect stuff. Album After Destroyer was Rock and Roll Over, my favorite Kiss record. This one was 2019. This is, again, what I might have shown this one before. This was part of a bundle where you got this special silver sticker with that. It's got the different kind of hype or the limited colored vinyl hype down there um so again this this one was again part of a larger bundle of junk that i got 2019 same jacket except you got the special sticker and then gee i wonder what color that vinyl is hmm that would be <laughs> orange do you do you see a trend so again, that's a lot of jokes about that, and you know, whatever. And maybe they had they had a lot of extra orange pellets. So clear orange on that guy. See the old camel label. After rock and roll over, what do we have? Oh, it's another Walmart. Can't buy it. This one actually came out. Uh, I think it was Black Friday, technically. I think it was whenever they had the big sale last fall $15 album sale which I grabbed a bunch of stuff I'm not gonna lie about that because there was some cool stuff in there man including this one which is cool which you could still get for 20 bucks go get one because the vinyl looks freaking cool and it looks like this it's called, I think they call it tangerine it's cool looking vinyl though man and as I've said before in this stuff too, I've got playable copies of all of these records umpteen times over. I'm not buying the colored vinyl for its sonic qualities. I buy it because it's something fun to get. Like baseball cards. Buy different baseball cards because they're different variants, types, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you notice in that, so there's no Alive too. I wonder what's up with that. My gut tells me they're probably... I bet they got something up their sleeves for Alive 2. I bet we're going to see something cool. Which I am I would love to have. Because that's one of my favorite records of all time. It was one of the first Kiss records I ever got. So I hope they do something really cool cool for Alive 2. Um, but um, we'll see. So if we skip Alive 2, that puts you into Double Platinum. And again, these are technically not part of the colored stuff so i'm kind of cheating by showing these but i have to show them because they're super neat um this was the again part of the bundle where you got that special sticker they did release these were these 2020s yeah these were last year's and they're technically not colored vinyl because they're the picture discs but this was the regular version i don't remember how many of those they did but again long gone now Picture discs look like that. Again, I've shown this guy before. Cool. And then, at the same time, you could have got the Super Duper limited one. 500 units of this one. And same jacket. Again, I've showed this one before. It's in one of my screenshots. Vinyl had a picture of each guy on each side. So there's Ace, Peter. I won't take the other one out of the bag, but you get to you get to just. And again, these ones are long gone. These are tough to find. Uh, and then the one that everybody missed again. I've shown this one before. This is the German uh, reissue. Um, and again, different jacket is. You may see it's got the, the German logo as with any of the German releases, and it's kind of a matte finish. It's not the gold foil. It had this hype, or actually not a hype, it's a track list. It was on the back, which is similar to what you saw in the 85 release. Uh, this one's on silver. Let me take the second one out. Kind of almost on marble, kind of. You can't really tell. There you kind of can. 
Kind of like a silver marble. Super cool. Looking. Again, a lot of people miss this one because, again, why uh, would you miss it if you're not out looking at the German Universal site every day like I do? Because I'm a freak. Um, after Double Platinum, then you got the Solos, which came in that box right there. Um, it's got like a turntable slip mat in there and, and some prints of the covers. It's, it's cool. This is one of the ones I, I remember when this first came out. I thought this was going to sell out like immediately and it didn't. Um, I mean, I think they finally, I, th I think they finally sold out a couple months ago because I went and looked just to see if they were still out there and they're gone now, but they were up there forever. You're not going to spend a whole ton of time on these. They're same jackets. As the 2014s, again, as most of these were, Jean is red. Again, it kind of looks orange in my screen, but that is red. Paul is purple. It's kind of a cool shade purple, and I can't remember if these were supposed to be marble. They, maybe they were, but so Paul's, you can really kind of see it, or not so much on the screen, but super cool purplish and white kind of marble you know that one's pretty neat looking peter Durr. same jacket peter's of course gonna be on green i don't see any really any marbling in peter's maybe there's a little bit peter and my man Ace. Da -da. And Aces is, of course, going to be on blue. Again, a little bit of marbling down there the bottom. Cool looking blue. Ace. So there's your solo box set. And another one kind of, maybe this technically wasn't part of the reissues, but it was right around the same time, so I'm going to show it anyway. So Best of the Solos, this again, German, tell by the logo up there. This was 2019, yeah, 2019 is when we got this one. This one still might be up there too on the German Universal site, but a super awesome looking, I need to stop saying super, I'm saying that too much. Um... <laughs> Awesome looking splatter. See, this is what a, this is what like it. That's what that's supposed to look like, uh, and that's what the picture looked like. So this is represented a hundred percent of what they said it was supposed to look like. But cool, huh? Best of the solos from Germany. Uh, these next couple. Well, actually, this. So yeah, I'll just keep going. Dynasty. 40th anniversary. This again, if, if there, there's a couple of these that I would kind of categorize as the more that again, it's a lackluster, and they must have printed a ton of them, or nobody wanted them because they're still up on the <laughs> sound of vinyl side or universal. You can still get these. This is one of them, so they must have done a ton of these. Either that, or nobody likes Dynasty, or nobody thought that this looked very cool. It's green green transparent i think it's cool looking so but that one you can still get and this is another one of i'm gonna skip this one let's just go right to the other let's call it black luster nobody bought this record when it came out anyway and this is a 30th so this is the one everybody, I remember when it came out, they are like, oh, are they doing 45ths? Are they doing 30th? And why did they skip, you know, all of the 80s stuff to get to this? Which is not, I mean, I don't listen to this record at all. I don't hate it, but I don't listen, yeah, whatever. So Hot in the Shade, we got, this was 2019, uh, why do I have, I have <laughs> 1989 is when it first came out. That's mislabeled, but anyway, <laughs> so... You got that cup, you know, 2019, and it's blue. The vinyl looks cool. I will say that. But, um, you know, that one's still up there. You can get because nobody cared. And then these next couple, 
This being one, uh, this one was fairly recent. I think this is 2020. Unmasked. Limited. And um, this one was on the website. Again, not for very long. And that one's hard to find now. And it looked like this. So, awesome. Kind of resembles like the... If you've seen the Mexican, the original Mexican release, I think there's a couple of variants of that with the splatterish kind of colors. I got one. I can't remember which one I have. But. And then last but not least, I'm going to show this one. This is the one we just got and is the coolest of them all. And I cannot, I mean, as far as when, the, when people were bitching about quality, you can't bitch about this one. This thing is absolutely astounding in every regard uh, you can't tell by the really the camera angle here but it's like a metallic kind of print on the cover first of all you got this sticker in there there's a booklet that came in here it's super heavy stock jacket I mean just just an outstanding release and again this 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 uh, they started shipping Last week, again, there's a lot of people haven't got theirs yet. I got mine. Um, Universal Germany. It's on pink vinyl, which I'll show you. Which, again, is so cool, man. This is how they're supposed... You know, if you ask anybody who's into it, they're like, this is how the re-releases should be done. How awesome is that? So freaking cool. And then the silver... And it's, ha and it's uh, I guess, technically half-speed master. Whatever you want to call it. It's a 45 RPM uh, piece of vinyl. So this one, the sound is freaking awesome. And then you also got the 7-inch if you got the bundle. You didn't have to get this one, but you could order it with the 7-inch down on your knees. Again, yeah, cool. Cool to have, and that's kind of it, guys, for the reissues. There's a couple, actually, I'm going to show a couple more just because they're recent. Not reissues, but we did get a special Kiss World. Again, if you ordered the, I think this was German, you could get the yellow one of that. Look like this. So cool, and then also a fairly recent one was again European. Uh, Kiss Rocks Vegas on yellow, which this one's kind of weird looking yellow. It's almost like a, it's not like a pea yellow, but it's not, it's just kind of odd. But yeah, so that's some Kiss variants, guys. Colored variants, there's more. Again, I didn't show kind of the standard release stuff. There's all the Sonic Booms, there's the Kiss Alive 3s. Um, there's the creatures glow in the dark. There's, uh, God, what am I forgetting? There's revenge that was on blue. So there's some, there were some other uh, MTV unplugged on yellow. So there's some other, uh, let's call them standard releases or initial releases on color too. But I just, this one I was focused on the re-release stuff. Again, I hope you found this interesting. Um, again, I'll say I, I love these kinds of things and uh, I can't wait for them to do the rest of the catalog and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time. See ya.